how do we frame learning to get kids involved in the thinking? There's going to be a, a two key things. One is we, we talk, often talk in the critical thinking consortium about tweaking the questions so that it, it invites a judgment. Often we'll ask kids uh, questions that recall, or just really a recall question. So uh, look this up, remember this, brainstorm this, but there's no decision. Sometimes we ask preference questions. You know, um, who's your favorite hockey team is a very different question than which team is most likely to go deep into the playoffs. I can say my favorite team is the Edmonton Oilers, but I might have a hard time unless you shore up that goaltending, I'm not sure they're gonna make it deep. So one is a preference question and one is uh, using evidence to make a decision. And we have to be careful that students understand the difference because I wanna frame my question so you're being asked to make a thoughtful decision. So, so we need to frame the question. The other is, the, the one big danger we often have is that we frame a rich question, but then we teach content to kids for several days. And now that we feel we've imparted enough content, we let them come back to that question. You don't really nurture good thinking by saying to kids, after I've asked this question, sit tight while I impart content to you. So we need to find ways that we call it a curriculum embedded approach, that, that engaging kids in thinking is routine, it's how we learn every day, and the kids start to see that thinking is what's expected on a routine basis. It's not what we do when we get to the end. You know, it's not a question asked at the beginning and you know, bookending it, but in between is a lot of content delivery. So even in learning content, how can I, how can I help you learn content in a way that engages engages thinking. So in our view, everything we do can engage kids in thinking and that's, that's how we get it to be a routine part of what they do. So there are lots of ways we can take things that happen every day in a classroom and just invite children to make a decision, a, a thoughtful decision about it. Could you rewrite that title to make it more interesting? What would that look like? So the invitation is how we invited children to make a decision and as I said, it often complements the task they're already doing as opposed to displacing it.